Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a bonus video. This is going up in addition to Vlogmas Day 12. I already had Vlogmas Day 12 filmed and ready to go, but then I got this PR package and it couldn't wait. So I am filming this to upload, and this collection, you guys, is so insane. Are you guys ready? We have the Glam Light and Icy collection. They did send this to me in PR, but I wanted to say this at the be beginning of the video because this is super important. This collection is live right now. So the link is in my description box. You guys can use code PAGE for 15% off. I would hurry up and purchase before it sells out if you plan to because I feel like this collection is gonna sell out. This is such a cool collection. Literally cool because it's icy. Um, but I'm so excited and thankful that they sent this to me in PR because I was gonna buy it. <laughs> um, so thank you to Glamlight. Use code PAGE for 15% off. Link is in the description box. It is available right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do swatches. I'm going to apply the products. We're going to open up this package and see what's inside. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. So here we have the package. We've got a blue icy and a red icy. This is super important. Like this would be like deal breaker material for me in a relationship. Are you team blue icy or team red icy? There's only one correct answer. And I'm being sarcastic just in case that wasn't clear. Um, <laughs> but there is only one correct answer. And I'll give you a second to type your answer down below. Are you team red icy or team blue icy? I will wait. This is super important. I need to know this information before I go any further. All right. Okay, now that you've had time to comment, the answer is quite obviously blue icy. Blue icy is the only correct answer. If you chose red, I don't know what is going on, but no, 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 no. <laughs> blue icy all the way. Okay, so here's what is inside the package. This is such a cool package, you guys. Okay, oh man. <laughs> so it says coolest collection in town down here. We've got more icy art and then here we have an icy cup which is a reusable cup which I'm so obsessed with. We've got a reusable straw. It looks like we've got some glam light lip products in here and then we have the blue icy palette and the cherry icy palettes. I am so excited about this you guys. Isn't this presentation just like 10 out of 10? Like look at this icy cup. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it out. It is so cute. I am obsessed. It looks like we have three lip products in there. I think they're lip glosses, but I'm not 100% sure. We will find out. So let me disassemble this PR box and we will open the products. All right, so first off we have the Icy Cup. Here is what it looks like. Oh, it has a screw on lid and then we have three lip products. Oh my gosh. We have Raspberry, which is a blue component. We have cherry. Please tell me this is called Coke. Oh, cola. Oh my gosh. Coke ices. I, I forgot about Coke ices. Coke ices are pretty good too, but I got to be in the mood for a Coke icy. Default is blue, 100%. Um, but here are the lip products. I really like the packaging on them. There's like little snow and icicles around the edge. And we have the Icy logo as well as the Glam Light logo. These are so cute. You can also see a little bit of the color at the bottom. So it kind of ombres from opaque, like non-transparent to clear, which is cool. And then this is literally an actual Icy cup. Now, I did want to say that before I sat down to film this video, I did stop at the gas station because I felt like this was completely necessary, um, but I did pick up a blue icy, <laughs> which I've already been drinking, so my tongue is kind of blue. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> but we have literally a blue icy. How perfect is that for this video? So I went ahead and washed it, and we are going to drink from our new icy cup so cute oh my gosh i love it all right next we have the blue raspberry palette which is the blue palette obviously and then we have the cherry palette so i'm gonna go ahead and open these up and we can take a peek here is the blue raspberry palette i really like the packaging 
And here we have the actual palette. Super blue, super colorful. I already see some gorgeous shimmers in here. I cannot wait to swatch this. I figured what I would do for today's video is do like one side with the blue palette and one side with the red palette just so we can try out both. My makeup's going to be looking a little crazy, but it's fine. <laughs> Next we have the cherry palette, which again, the packaging on both of these is so cute. Oh yes. This Oh, okay, I know I said blue icy <laughs> is default, but um, this red palette, I'm loving these colors. These are my kind of colors. I love these pinky red shimmers. Oh, and the little impressions in the palette. I really hope you guys will be able to see this. But there's like little cherry impressions and like an icy cup impression. Hello, this is Future Page. I just finished filming this video and I realized I forgot to go over pricing with you. So let me do that. Here's a little sneak peek for the eye looks. <laughs> um, but the palettes are going to retail for $25 each. The Icy Lip Gloss Set with Exclusive Collectors Cup and Straw is going to be $28. The Full Collection is going to be $69. And you can actually purchase this full collection with the PR package, which is so freaking cool. Like, you get this whole entire thing that I showed you guys today. And you can get the entire PR box, which includes both palettes, the lip gloss set with the cup, and that is going to retail for $78. Plus, you guys can use code PAGE for 15% off, which is a really good deal, in my opinion. I think that's so fun. So, yeah, I just wanted to insert myself and let y'all know. Um, but I'm going to go edit this video so that you guys can watch it. So, like I said collection available now. I feel like I've said this 20 times, but just want to make sure y'all don't miss this one. Collection available now. Use code PAGE for 15% off. All right, I'm going to go and we will go back in time and continue. This is so cute. Okay, let's swatch the lip products. I wonder if they're scented. That would be insane. I don't smell anything. Maybe like a slight sweet kind of like vanilla scent, but definitely nothing blue raspberry scented <laughs> here is what the swatch looks like it's very clear it has a little bit of sparkle in there but nothing too intense which i think this is super pretty next we have cherry which again is more on the sheer side this one you can definitely see a bit of that pinky red tint but it's definitely still like kind of looks like a very sheer lip oil um, I don't know. I don't see any glitter in here. So I think this one is just like more of like a clear, lightly tinted gloss. And then we have Cola, which this one looks like has some sparkle in it. This one is definitely the most pigmented. <gasps> that is beautiful. It's kind of like a cherry cola color with gold glitter. That is beautiful. We'll definitely have to try one of these out on the lips. Well, let's go ahead and swatch the blue palette. I keep calling it the blue palette, but it's the blue raspberry palette. All right, you guys. So here we have the blue raspberry palette swatched. The swatches get a 10 out of 10. So much pigment, so much color payoff. Literally, these are stunning. From top to bottom, we have Chillin, Frozenated, Polar Bear, Ice Cold, Glacial, Frost, Icicles, cool, refresh, blue raspberry, icy, and melted. I am in love with these swatches. They are so fun. There's some more like purpley blues. There's some more like teal blues. We have some lighter blues in here. <sighs> Such a fun blue palette. Now let's go ahead and swatch the cherry palette. I did want to mention that I did get some light staining. I don't know if you'll be able to really tell, but a couple of the shades did leave a little bit of a blue mark. <laughs> Gotta take a little icy break. But here we have the cherry palette swatched. Oh my gosh, these swatches are even better than the blue raspberry palette. Oh my gosh, Chandler Bing. I wish I could do a better Nana's voice, but I can't. <laughs> um, 
Look at how beautiful these colors are. Oh my God. And the whites at the top, it looks just like a white shimmery shade in the palette, but it has like a pinky red duochrome to it, which I was not expecting, but it just makes it so much better. Again, beautiful shimmers, beautiful, deep, rich red mattes. I'm so excited. Oh, my blue tongue. <laughs> Um, I guess we'll start with the blue palette. We'll do blue on this side, red on this side. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we will get started. I have no idea what kind of looks we're gonna do. This will be interesting. Also, I'm gonna be using my Allie Dawson and Blinged Brushes collection. So these are gonna look so freaking cute with this Icy collection. I'm obsessed. By the way, if you guys are interested, in these brushes they are from blinged brushes and you guys can use code page for 10 percent off the sets are on pre-sale right now because they sold out so fast but there are some singles still available i'm pretty sure and you guys can pre-order if you would like so just thought i would throw that in there so we're actually going to go in with the red blinged brushes on the cherry palette side and i'm just going to use some morphe brushes for the blue side so that we don't mix colors so i'm thinking hmm i don't know i'm thinking we'll go in with frozenated which is this light it's not really a light blue but it's the lightest blue matte shade and i'm going to put this through the crease I don't have any eyeshadow primer on. I have some concealer on my eyelids, but nothing too intense, just like very light concealer that I blended out. Um, I find that Glam Light shadows do not need eyeshadow primer, but now that I'm putting this on, I kind of wish I did put some on just so that I could help prevent eyelid staining since these are very colorful shadows. That is a very common thing that happens, but we'll be fine. <laughs> um, I'm just going to have one blue eye and one red eye and it's going to be great. <laughs> but so far this color is so pigmented and it's blending out so well. Like wow that's beautiful oh my god i love it it makes me want some more blue icy super pretty color next i want to go in with polar bear which is this matte blue shade here and i'm going to just take that same brush this is a morphe m441 by the way and i'm going to start by kind of tapping this in my outer corner i only went in with a super tiny bit of product just because i'd rather build up the pigment then just going with too much right away so i'm just going in with tiny little taps of that and slowly building this up so i ended up kind of smoking this out upward so i am going to go back in with frozenated towards the end which is the first matte that we use just to kind of buff out the edge just to make it a little bit more seamless and kind of blended together but so far, so good. This blue eyeshadow is blending like a dream, not patchy whatsoever. Super pigmented, very easy to blend. And like I said, I have basically no eyeshadow base on other than the tiny bit of concealer that I blended out over my eyes. So, so far, so good. I'm actually going back into Frozenated right now and just lightly buffing that along the edge of that shadow just to go ahead and get that nice and blended now i want to go in with a shimmer so i'm going to use the m124 from morphe this is a flat like kind of like concealer type brush but we're going to be using it to apply the shimmer we're going to see how this goes i might end up using my finger but i'm going to go into the shade chillin which is this one right here this is a really pretty super metallic blue color the shimmer shadows are definitely pretty soft so be careful if you go in to swatch or like with your finger or a brush they are very soft so you don't have to press too hard if you do you will make an indent in them so let's go ahead oh my gosh do you see that shimmer are you kidding me this is absolutely insane this it <laughs> It looks like a wet shadow. I am definitely experiencing a little bit of fallout, but should be no problem if you don't set your face with powder, just use a little powder under here or do your eyeshadow first. Um, you would also probably have less fallout if you use your finger, but I do have pretty long nails right now, so it can be kind of hard for me to apply shadow with my finger, especially to the inner corner, just cause it's like hard to be precise. So 
sometimes I like to use a brush and I am shook look at that okay I'm gonna blend out this little line right here but first I'm going to wipe away my fallout so now I'm thinking about tapping into blue raspberry which is this matte color here and I'm just gonna use that same blending brush we've been using and I'm going to use a little bit of that to blend out the line between the matte and shimmer shadows and I'm going to kind of work that into the outer corner just to increase a little bit of depth and just use it as another layer of blue oh my goodness I'm obsessed now I'm gonna take a pencil brush this is from Morphe this is the E36 and I think I'm gonna go in with oh this is tough do I go in with blue raspberry or polar bear Mm, ugh, I don't know. I can't decide. I guess we'll go with polar bear. <laughs> I'm going to take that on a pencil brush and start by kind of smoking that out on my lower lash line. I'm just going to line it. Um, I guess, do I go all the way or do I stop? I think I'll stop there. So we'll just kind of go like three quarters of the way and then I think on this inner portion of my lower lash line like right in here I'm going to go back into frozenated which is the light blue and just pack a little bit of that right there just to add a little bit of bright blue pop to the inner corner so I'm just taking the shade frozenated and putting that right here just kind of blending it into polar bear on my lower lash line and there we have it I do want to go in with some highlighter and I want like one of those bluish highlighters so I'm gonna go grab one and I'll be right back we're gonna do a space baby from Ofra you guys can use good page for 20% off but let me just show you how beautiful this highlighter is it is stunning so I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and pop that right on my inner corner just to kind of add a little blue shimmer and then we'll also put a tiny bit of this on the brow bone as well now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and I will be right back all right you guys so here is the finished blue look I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this eye to not distract you because I only have one eye done but I am obsessed I think it looks so cute I love the blue I love the shimmer and I think that it looks fun with my blue eyes so <laughs> um, this palette gets a 10 out of 10 for quality for just just the product itself for theme obviously if you have seen my videos I don't wear blue eyeshadow every day I do like to play with color every now and then but I do stick to my neutrals and pinks for the most part, but I love playing with color. I love experimenting. I love Glam Light. I love their themed palettes. And it's so cool that they did a collaboration with like such a fun brand. I love it. <laughs> so um, yeah, this Blue Raspberry palette, if you've been thinking about it, definitely pick it up. Now we will move on to the cherry palette. So for this one, I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking I want to do a little bit of a halo eye just because I feel like I could use some of these like deeper red shades and use like this shimmer right here on the center and like use this as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. I don't know. It's just what I'm feeling. So let me get my blinged brushes x alley dawson collection going all right so i'm gonna start by taking the e31 from blinged brushes and i really oh do i want to go more like corally like red 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 <laughs> orange red or more like berry red i don't know this is so difficult i think we'll go more like these reds because i think this is more true like red icy um, whereas the other ones are kind of a little bit more pinky, which is what I want to use, but I feel like I'll stick to the more true red shades for this video <laughs> just to be more authentic. So I'm going to go ahead and take Flavorific, which is this red matte shade here. This is like a cherry red and I'm going to tap this. Look at that pigment in the outer corner 
I'm gonna slowly start to blend it. I'm gonna put this shade on the inner and outer corner because like I said, we are gonna go for a bit of a halo eye. I'm using a little bit of a smaller brush to get into the inner portion of my eye just to keep it a little bit neater and so I can have a little bit more control. All right, so here's our starting point. This is a trust the process moment because right now we're looking a little bit crazy, but it's gonna be fine. Um, <laughs> so I'm actually gonna take a clean brush, just like any clean, fluffy brush, and I'm going to buff out this edge just so we can kind of blend a little bit. I just want to make sure we don't have any harsh lines. I'm probably going to re-blend at the end, but I figured we could go ahead and just get a little bit of a head start and just buff out this edge. Now I'm going to take the shade Colorful Tongue. <laughs> um, oh, I'm realizing I didn't go through the shade names of this palette, so I'll just tell you them. We've got White Cherry, Cool Taste, Colorful Tongue, Epic, Fruity, Flavorific, Wild Cherry, Smile, Fantastic, Treat, Frosted Cherry, and Sweet. So those are the names of this palette. Um, I realized I just totally forgot to tell you. So we're going in with Colorful Tongue, which is this shade here. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger because I just accidentally did it. And I'm going to press this on the center of my lid. We are going to blend, so no worries. Um, but this color is so pretty. I love the pigment. I love the shimmer. I love the metallic that it's giving me. I did make a bit of a mess with that shade. I should have used a brush, but it'll be fine. I'm just going to kind of buff out those edges to make them a little more smooth. And I brought that shimmer all the way up to the edge of my shadow so that it kind of just exaggerates the shimmery effect. Now I do want to deepen the inner and outer corner a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with Treat, which is this shade right here. It's a little bit deeper of a red. <laughs> and I'm going to apply that to the very inner portion of my eye and the very outer corner of my eye as well. Then I'm going to take a, another flat brush and I'm going to go in with White Cherry. I'm just gonna try to place this on the very, very, very center of my lid to add a little bit of extra brightness. I'm not sure how this will lay over the other shimmer, but I wanna see if I can kind of blend it because I just want a little bit more of a pop. Then I'm taking what is left over on this pencil brush from the shade Treat and just connecting the outer corner of my eyeshadow to the inner corner on my lower lash line just to complete the circle. Now I'm gonna go in with Wild Cherry on my inner corner and brow bone and then we will go in with mascara and then we'll try out some lippies. I found the cherry shade to be the slightest bit crumbly so it was kind of hard to actually like apply but once you apply it, it comes off way more pink than you would expect. Like, I have it on my inner corner. It's on top of the red shade, but it's way darker than I thought it was going to be. Still super cute, though. So now we're going to go ahead and put on some mascara, and I will be right back. All right, you guys. So here we have the eyeshadow all done. Um, I'm not sure what lip I want to go in with. Let's try cola and just see what it looks like on the lips. Ooh, that's pretty. That's way more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. So here's the shade Cola. It definitely looks a little bit crazy with my makeup right now. I feel like, <laughs> like Harley Quinn or something. <laughs> <laughs> with my half red and half blue um but the lip gloss is gorgeous i really like the color it has a little bit of a warm undertone and you can see that little gold sparkle it's not overpowering but you definitely can see it i think it looks cute um i think i'm gonna switch to cherry just to kind of simplify the makeup but i do really like this color cola i think it's gorgeous and then uh raspberry is just like a clear gloss with some blue shimmer in it so this one is super subtle i'm sure it will just look like a clear gloss on the lips but 
I figured I would try the two more colorful ones out. So I changed my mind. We're gonna swatch all of them. So here is Raspberry. Ooh, it actually has a little bit of like a pink sheen to it, I think. Very subtle, but it looks like it has some blue shimmer with maybe like the slightest little bit of pink sheen. Super, super, super subtle. It pretty much just looks like a clear gloss, but it's really pretty. I like it. I think it's cute. Finishing up with Cherry, this is gonna be a clear gloss with a very, very sheer red tint to it. I like the formula. It's nothing crazy or innovative, but it feels very comfortable. It's not super sticky. I'm not getting like stuff between my lips <laughs> when I'm talking or anything like that. Um, but I think these are really cute and I do wish that they were scented. I feel like that would have been so cool to do like a cherry, a Coke, and a blue raspberry scent or flavor. They are basically not scented. I don't taste or smell anything. Not even vanilla or sweet or anything. They feel pretty much unscented to me, which I'd rather them not smell like anything than not smell good. So, um, yeah, that was this collection. I freaking loved it. I feel like it was so fun. I definitely like the blue eye look better today which I was not expecting I kind of thought I was gonna go for the red I feel like the red is just super dramatic and it would probably look ten times better with lashes um, but I'm not a big lash person <laughs> and I still think it looks cute with mascara but I do think that the blue is a lot more like I don't know I'm just feeling the blue side a little bit better but let me know your thoughts do you think the cherry palette is cuter do you think the blue raspberry palette is cuter which I look did you like better and just let me know your thoughts on this collection overall like I said it's available right now I would highly recommend this collection I think it's so fun if you don't like colorful eyeshadow obviously you are not gonna like this collection it's straight color not a single neutral in this entire collection except for the cola gloss <laughs> but as far as the eyeshadow palettes are concerned very colorful very fun definitely the packaging it's a 10 out of 10 I think it's so cute they really hit the mark on this one in my opinion I freaking love it so definitely go check out glam light use code page for 15% off that is an affiliate code so I do make a small commission if you decide to use it but it does help me out and it helps me keep purchasing makeup to do more videos and it helps me do this as my job and I really really appreciate all of you who use my affiliate codes and links I really appreciate it no pressure whatsoever but um, if you do thank you so much so this collection will be linked down below in the description box go check it out go check out all other glam light products their happy hour collection was amazing if they still have that <laughs> collection available if it's not sold out I loved that collection the Michaela and Glam Light collection was fantastic let me check out their website really quick actually as I'm filming this it looks like they're still having some like Black Friday Cyber Monday holiday deals it looks like they have a bunch of different bundles and boxes that are very heavily discounted so if these are still available tomorrow i would definitely look into those and that's like a no code required type thing but i'm pretty sure if you guys use code page you'll save an additional 15 percent off so definitely something i would look into the cake palette is on sale i really hope these sales are still active tomorrow once they're sold out they're sold out they're not going to restock but i don't see like a date as to when these products are going off sale so definitely check out their sale section check out the icy collection thank you again to glam light for sending me this amazing collection 10 out of 10 i love it so much thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you all so so much thank you thank you thank you i'm in such a good mood because i had so much fun playing with the colorful eyeshadow it's been a minute uh so anyway i love you all so much i hope you have a wonderful day don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed um and i will see you guys in the next one bye